Hi, it's me once again. I just finished uh, watching uh, episode 9 of The Walking Dead titled No Way Out. And it's time for me to do another blog of the episode, which I apologize for being pretty late for since I've got the video, video thing all figured out. Uh, it begins with uh, Abraham, Sasha, and Daryl, like from a, a sneak, an extra from last season. Uh, they ran into a group of uh, guys on motorcycles that were known as the saviors. Now the leader asked me asked him to hand in your hand in your weapons. Daryl goes, "What for?" And he says, "Why do you want our weapons?" And he goes, "Your property now belongs to Negan." So eventually, come on. And eventually, uh, the leader of the leader of the say that of that group, uh, we call him Bud. So eventually Bud uh, talked to Abraham and says, when you eat shit, best not to nibble. Eat, chew, swallow, repeat. That's all you do. Okay, so eventually he, went, he took out the guns and went back to his bike and eventually you got more, sh he said, you got more shit in there. And he says, they say, you don't, you don't know how much. And she says, oh, I, I don't believe you. Either you tell me where you come from or we're going to have to kill you. So eventually he tells one of the guys to take Daryl to the back of the truck to see if there's any more stuff. And then uh, Abraham goes, who's Negan? And he says, ding, no, Bud says, ding dong hell's bells, which was the most funniest thing I've ever heard. And eventually he said, I told you not to answer any questions. And then uh, Sasha went, you don't have to do this. Abraham goes to her, says, whispers to her, shut up. And he says, she tells him, I'm talking. So eventually that's what they were doing. Like they were trying to beg their way out, trying to get their lives saved. But eventually, eventually Bud held out two guns right in front of them. That I was thought it was that was the end of that. That's the end of that. And then he and then he went. Nah, I'm not gonna kill you. Oh uh, wait, yes I am. Then all of a sudden, uh, you see this. The whole group just exploded, like it was like a big bonfire, and every and Sasha and Abraham fell, and. Uh, I mean, it would turn out to be Daryl that he had the RPG launcher that Abraham found from uh, Always Accountable. Like, he used the RPG to blow up all the saviors and their bikes. And eventually he killed, killed that one guy to, that he was taking him to the back. And eventually he, he caught him and, like, one, clipped him one on the back of his angel wing vest. So then he says, what a bunch of assholes. And he says, let's get you home. Let's get you, fixed. let's get this fixed up. And Sasha went to his cut, and Daryl goes, yes, ma'am. And as soon as, uh, as soon as they were walking back, they were getting back in the truck, heading over to Alexandria, Abraham said the best line of all, nibble on that. <laughs> okay, now we go into Alexandria. We, like, we go with Rick and his group, like, dressed in the walker guts going through the herd of walkers and eventually uh, they stopped at somewhere and they say they haven't have to have a new plan he wants to get everyone in cards so they could drive the herd out so but so eventually and eventually Jesse said what about Judith what if she cries and she says and father Gabriel uh, offered to take care of Judith so Carl took Judith out of his thing and he put he went under father Gabriel's jacket G Gabriel's uh, cloak so uh, she would be safe from the walkers and then he told Gabriel told uh, Rick I'll take good care of her and then Jesse said take Sam but Sam refused to go because he he couldn't stand being without his mother and she said Sam you have to it's safe he says no I can't leave you I can't leave you and then Jesse reluctantly uh, gave in to him like Jesse take my advice even if he's a kid or not you should have made Sam go to Gabriel. It's for his own good. Okay, so now we go on to nighttime. And uh, they all walk, they're all walking through the herd. And then all of a sudden, Sam sees this walker, like a child walker. And then 
he remembered what Carol told him about how he found her stealing guns from the armory in the episode of Forget. And how she made this speech about the monsters will eat you, no one's going to find you, because he wanted her to make him some cookies. And so, you know, the cookie speech and all that. Eventually, Sam st was frozen in his traps, and then Jesse went, Sam, come on, let's go. And he says, and he was just, had a scared look on his face. Rick tried to encourage him, and then Ron tried to encourage him, look at Mom. And she said, Sam, you can do this. And, Je and then Sam went, he started whining, he was scared, he was crying, then all of a sudden, walkers came and started devouring Sam. And I'm just, I'm just like, oh my, God. I... I knew this was going to happen. I knew the shit was going to go down. Jesse, Jesse, you should have made Sam go with Gabriel. What kind of a mother are you? And then she was just screaming, devastating, watching her poor son getting devoured by walkers. She froze, and then all the walkers uh, devoured Jesse. And I'm just like, oh, wow. <laughs> I was just like, oh, my God. I knew it was going to happen, and Rick was like, no. And he had flashbacks of Jesse and all that. And like Carl was like was holding Jesse's hand. He says, try we hit like before she got devoured, she says, Jesse, let go, come with us. But she wouldn't let go since the walkers were devouring. She was gonna take Carl down with him. Then all of a sudden Rick got his axe and then he started cutting Jesse's hand off so he could save Carl. And eventually they were like the divisions of Jesse again, but they were like in red. And so eventually uh, Carl went, fell down and Jesse's gun fell down. And then Carl and uh, Rick, uh, Carl stood up and then Rick got up and then he heard this click of the gun and Ron had his gun pointing and he said, you, you. Then all of a sudden Michonne was behind him and he stabbed her, stabs Ron with his katana, fed him to the walkers and Ron's gun, the gun went off. But then all of a sudden, Carl, Rick was looking around, and then Carl looked up, and you should see his eye. It was destroyed. There was blood coming out. He goes, Dad? And then Rick looked at him. He says, Carl, no. And he collapsed down the ground. So rest in peace, Carl's eye. You will be missed. So eventually Rick got Carl, uh, picked up Carl, and Michonne had led led them to the infirmary like and Michelle was like cutting up all the walkers and getting getting in the way trying to get Carl to the infirmary so they could save his life. Now let's go to where Morgan, Carol, Tara, Rosita, and Eugene are. Eventually, um, eventually they woke after uh, Owen after they got the attack of Owen and Owen taking Denise. Eventually uh, Carol said like Tara wanted to go out to find her but Rosita says there's too many of them we can't do it we only have one gun and no ammo okay gun and she said okay and eventually Carol asked for Rosita but she came to she asked for Rosita to, get, to give her a gun so she could check the brownstone and she said all right so as soon as uh, Carol went uh, yeah Morgan came too okay and meanwhile uh, the wolf has Je Owen has Jesse right now, and eventually he was talking to her about about uh, every, like what his life life was like, and you should like he was being evil, like and and eventually like Jesse told him one time to go to hell, and eventually uh, just eventually Owen decided you need to I'm gonna save you, I want I want to get out of here. We need to get get inside. So eventually, Jesse agreed, and eventually Owen came, and uh, he started, Owen started stabbing the walkers, then all of a sudden, Jesse was attacked, uh, Denise was attacked by a walker, and then all of a sudden, Owen came, saved her life, and he stabbed, and another walker bit him, bit Owen on the arm, and then he, then he stabbed the walker in the, in the brain. And so eventually, uh, Denise said, I'm going to save you. You come with me. I can save you. So eventually, she's going to go. And she, so Owen went with Denise. They went inside to a place. And eventually, um, he, he took off his, she took off his belt. And then she had to wrap it around her, his arm so they could like amputate it so he, wouldn't, so he could save his life. And eventually, we go together, okay? 
the well before we uh, get what happened to Owen uh, we go to Carol's she went up up and then she was looking out the window Morgan came in came up and told Carol you had a daughter you had a husband I didn't want to hurt you and he said you saved him for your said about Owen Carol said about Owen you saved him for him set for yourself not for the group I should have killed you and eventually that was it. Then all of a sudden Denise and Owen escaped and eventually she tried to they tried to get to the infirmary. Then all of a sudden when Owen was saying, Hurry, hurry, uh, Carol shot Owen. And and then he died, and then he went down uh, and a few walkers got him again and she said and then D Carol looked at Denise say, Go And eventually she did. She ran to the infirmary, she made it there safely. And eventually, uh, she met up with uh, Spencer, Aaron, and Heath. They were all in the infirmary uh, taking care of her patients. They moved them upstairs so they could be safe. Then all of a sudden, Aaron looked out the window and said, Oh my God, look at that. And eventually, he sees Michonne, Rick, and Carrie and Carl and attacking all the walkers. Then Rick came, like, like and Denise, they asked him, Did he get bit? And, he, and Denise was hesitant. And she, he said, No. And she goes, give me the gurney, I need bandages, towels, I have all the things you need, give me light and all that. And eventually Rick ran in with Carl, put him on the gurney, and he, came, he begged Denise to save my, save my boy. So eventually, um, and Michonne was there trying to console Rick, he took off his gut, gut cloak, so eventually, please save him, Denise, please save him. And eventually he had this look on his face, so he decided he looked out the window, he grabs his axe and he opens the door and he decided to get 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 some of this anger out and then uh, and then uh, Rick Michonne yells Rick what are you doing Rick and eventually uh, Michonne said to Denise I gotta get out there I need he needs my help and he says stay put we're almost there it's this is his son I need to save him and then eventually um, he had to. He's announced had to say she's right. We have to make a stand. We got to get out there and fight. And then uh, Aaron went, and Spencer went. Okay, let's do it. So eventually, uh, Michonne kissed Carl on the forehead, and eventually, Michonne, Rick, Michonne, Aaron, Spencer, and uh, Heath uh, all went out and joined the joined Rick and, uh, in the killing of all the Walkers. And then eventually, uh, there were a few people, Alexandrians, including Olivia and Eric. They got out and uh, started being on the attack as well. And eventually, uh, Gabriel, who has Judith with her, decided to pass the baby off to an Alexandrian. And then uh, Tobin looked at him and he said, what are you doing? He says, we pray for God to save, that he would save Alexandria. Well, he's go well we're going to. God has answered our prayers. We're going to save Alexandria. And eventually, Tobin joined... Uh, uh, Gabriel in the slash in the fight of the walkers and then Carol uh, eventually got came down and he says we got to get out there Rick is making a stand and then Tara went Dis Denise sit and she told her Denise is safe she's back in the infirmary and she went okay I say I'm going with you Morgan says I'm helping Rick too and he says I'm going Rosita's going and then Eugene says I'm going too and Rosita look at Eugene you don't have to and I said, yes, I do. Nobody has a clock out today. The people will be reading on that. We'll read that one day. So eventually, they were all coming out. They were like slashing all the walkers. They were like the big herd, the huge fight. Rick keeps tell keep telling him to bring him forward, bring him forward, bring him forward. Meanwhile, uh, well, Glenn and Enid, like one time before, uh, went ran into the church and he told her to find like bullets or a gun like they hide them in bibles or in the pews so eventually glenn says glenn told her to wait here and he says no i'm not i'm gonna help you i'm gonna help you get to maggie okay so you find something we'll find something and then i'll make something to climb to get to maggie then all of a sudden um uh, eventually they escaped the church and glenn and enid uh went to save Maggie but eventually Glenn uh, decided to shoot off the herd and uh, Enid went up to sit went up the stairs to save Maggie and she was like panicking the ramp was like shaking and all that and uh, 
eventually Glenn was like shooting all the walkers and Maggie was screaming Glenn's name and Enid says we got to get you down like there she put the rope over the fence and then all of a sudden Glenn was yelling come on come over here he was like trying to kill all the walkers as he can but as soon as Glenn was about to bite the dust there were shots ringing out from top of the fence from Sasha and Abraham they saved Glenn once again. Glenn is saved once again. And Abraham says, can you open the gate? Appreciate it, pal. Okay, so Glenn, op the, meanwhile, the gate was open. Uh, Daryl is, Daryl uh, had the fuel truck and everyone was, uh, Daryl was saved like Maggie and Enid from the ramp and uh, Glenn and Abraham came, uh, Glenn, Abraham and Sasha came to join Daryl and Daryl went, what happened? And he said, "Oh, that we had a. I think there's a herd going on. Herd going on. The tower fell over and all that. But eventually, Daryl had a plan. He says, "No, we got to get get them all. We want to do it all at once." So eventually, Daryl took the fuel truck and uh, right into the pond, and he poured gasoline into the pond. And eventually, the and eventually he poured it in the pond. Then uh, Abraham drove the truck, and eventually Daryl told him to stop. And then he got the RPG that he used to kill up all the saviors on the motorcycles. He fired it in the pond, and the pond just burst into flames. And then that attracted the walkers, so all the walkers uh, saw the flames, and eventually they uh, went right to the pond. And then Rick says let's do this let's end this now so eventually all you see is the big herd of walker attacks you see them faces they're going fight 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 stabbing them cracking them cutting their heads off ha huh? and you see like separate people going ah, 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 trying to get, the, get all the walkers to die and then it ended with rick and and he looked really exhausted then we go to the next morning well, eventually Morgan, what happened to Owen, uh, when Morgan came out, he hit Owen, and eventually Owen turned, and then Rick said, and then uh, Morgan said to Owen, I'm sorry, and he kills him. So, goodbye, uh, Owen. Hey, rest in peace, Benedict Samuel. Rest in peace, Owen. Benedict Samuel, who played Owen, you did a fantastic job. Good luck to you. And eventually, we came to mourning. Well, everyone was looking out in the street. It was like a huge mess. Everyone was waiting in the infirmary, uh, tired, exhausted. And meanwhile, in the infirmary, Denise was stitching up Daryl's cut. And Glenn was feeding Maggie breakfast. And uh, Michonne was holding Judith. And eventually, Rick was in there uh, trying, speaking, talking to Carl about the, wanting him to see the new world. And he said, I was wrong and all that. I want, please, let me show you, please. He was, like, breaking down, begging his son to wake up. And eventually Carl, like, he did survive the gunshot, like, with, and he has the, and he has, like, bandages over his eye. And uh, eventually he was holding, uh, Rick, Rick was holding Carl's hand, saying, please wake up. I need you. Please let me show you. And eventually, Carl, uh, once when they saw Rick holding Carl's hand, you should see, you see Carl's hand curling up on Rick's hand. And then Rick's had a sigh of relief in. That was the end of it. Well, and that was it from Note for No Way Out. Um, I thought the episode was, like, very emotional, very, but very powerful. It was amazing, like... The effects were awesome. We had to say goodbye to some characters. We like to say goodbye to Owen, Je Aunt Jesse, and the Abraham and the Anderson family. The whole Anderson family is gone now. So best wishes to Benedict Samuel, Alexander Breckenridge, Austin Abrams, and Major Dodds Dobson. Uh, I wish good congrats. You'll always be part of the Walking Dead family, and you will all and you'll. And you and you and you, we, we, I wish you well in all your future endeavors. So um, that'll be it for me. So next time when you when I come on, I uh, will be talking about the next world, the next episode of The Walking Dead, which is which I hear, which I saw, which was a really fun episode. So you'll I'll be laughing quite a lot of it. So remember, if you want to leave comments, uh, please do so. So and remember the rules. 
no bashing, no name calling, no, no criticism. And spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the episode yet, don't watch me. Watch the episode first, then watch me. So uh, this is Jen once again signing off saying good night and see you soon.